my my music career to date is was like a bad made-for-television movie, and <laughs> I'm expecting it any day now. But really, I came to Los Angeles to be a songwriter. That's I didn't want to be a singer. I I loved singing and with people, but I didn't want to be a singer. And I came out and brought, took my demos around and was rejected. Uh, everybody does it. And uh, just by fate's hand, I met uh, someone in a bank who <laughs> was um, just kind of kismet uh, connection we had. And he had, had a song that he needed uh, someone to sing on the demo for. And that was me, it turned out. And I, I actually begged to sing that song. I, I loved it. Uh, it was something that they did not want me to do and I, I kind of begged and it was sad <laughs> but um, so I mean that's basically it. and then from there I, it went on to bomb records and a couple of other ones in between and and I was actually offered a couple of deals if I would drop that song that was really interesting to me um, in IRS at the time was huge and and uh, I just thought it was a really terrible way to begin my career. So I held on to that song. I just didn't want to compromise early on like that. And then I went to uh, Electra uh, at some point and left Electra. And then I pretty much left the music business for a, a number of years and went into recording. I had another job, really. I was a studio owner, and but I was always making records. So I couldn't stop doing that, which was silly, but I couldn't not undo it none, which is a triple, quadruple negative, which means I did it. <laughs> and I kept doing it, and they'll possibly be coming out at some point. Well, some say it was a terrible mistake, but I, ha I have to think that it was in my father's ballet studio and there was a tremendous amount of music from all over the world and Tchaikovsky and and uh, it was always around and then I started singing in choirs which is terribly corny these days but that's when I fell in love with singing and then I started writing songs and playing music and getting in one terrible band after another <laughs> and uh, then the rest is you know as we have it. My early music career um, when I came to California is, is really when it, it began and I was a songwriter trying to get my music heard and I was going into record companies and being turned down and as a songwriter and um, I accidentally met my producers in a bank line and it was a sunset and vine and uh, they were had this song they needed a someone to sing the demo of which happened to be Johnny are you queer and I wanted to sing it I loved that song I it was totally made me laugh and that was just the best to me Well, the demo uh, got signed uh, to Bump Records, and eventually it was on s several different labels in Electra Records, and um, then the everything kind of blew up with Johnny Hickwear, and and I was going um, into another elm, uh, part of music, and 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 now I'm back in in music. So that's a really roundabout way of saying I'm here doing this. Um, from what I've heard, and I wasn't there, but it originally was a, a punk rock chorus um, that the, uh, the punk band Fear had, and it was a very scary song, and, and it was written uh, on basically is a social commentary and a lot of the cute guys were gay and a lot of the girls said so and, and that was what was really around uh, at Los Angeles at the time and it, it was uh, kind of born out of that. I was prepared for the success. I, I wasn't 
prepared for the extreme controversy it caused. So that was uh, something I had no idea was coming in, and it was, um, it, I mean, it ended up me being banned in Amsterdam, which is just wild, and I think that's going on my gravestone. But uh, in terms of uh, in, in people's reaction, that was, it was schizophrenic. It was people thought I was trying to promote gay people, the right, religious right, and then some people thought I was homophobic, and some people thought it was a joke song, and some people came out with that song, and some people was an anthem, and and some people just liked the song, and Burt Bacharach uh, thought it was a great song, and it, it was, it was everybody had a different reaction, and I, I, I couldn't believe it. it was something I had never witnessed before. <laughs> Once I agreed to do the Johnny remake, we brought in all kinds of DJs, and and it was it was really in a an adventure to figure out if it was still relevant. I, I felt that it was. It, the tempo was questionable for a dance song, and the, the content, was it funny anymore? Was it, uh, did it shock people enough? Uh, which was always the great thing about the song to me. And when we brought in Elephant, the shock value and the humor also just came right back to the song and started pissing everybody off again. It was great. And that's what the song was always about. It was making people stop and, and think. And, and hopefully more of a dialogue this time. Um, but Elephant is, is this wonderful twin, this twin rapper friends of mine now. And they're very edgy. And there's an X-rated version. I, it's not on my record, but we might, we might put it out there at some point. It's, I laughed. It's like it was. It was fantastic. Uh, some of the guys, uh, straight white, g older guys, um, were not so keen on it, and it was it was bizarre. Even the songwriters were were shocked. But uh, once again, that song just keeps going, and um, so hopefully at some point it will stop going, and I people won't ask me about it anymore. Good luck, Josie. Well, my intention was to do a, a more electronic record than I had done, and very easy on the guitars, a dancey record. Even the ballads w were designed to be danceable, and, and that was basically the intention of, of this record from the get-go. Definitely uh, going to do probably a few videos from this record. The first one I'm dying to do is from the title track, and that's Pussycat Babylon. It's kind of end of the world the scenario, the cowgirls and inbred trailer park people and <laughs> guitars, and it's, it's going to be really fun. And, and then I'm hoping to do a, a, a couple more videos, and that's the most fun because you can get it exactly right, like very few things having to do with music.